Adapt Builder is the best for designing post-tensioned and traditionally reinforced concrete slabs due to its powerful modeling and design tools. Let's take a look at how you can easily determine tendon designs for your project using the support line span optimization tool. I have a model where I've set up banded tendons as well as my distributed tendons using our smart tools and map banded features. However, I'm encountering a location that is failing due to top and bottom stresses as well as pre-compression. I've gone ahead and isolated this strip down into one location. And let's turn that location on. And I'll go ahead and show the top stresses. As you can see, we have some top stresses occurring at this wall location, and we also have some bottom stresses mid-span for this location, as well as some pre-compression issues. Now let's go ahead and easily solve these problems using the support line span optimizer. So I'll go ahead and leave my bottom stress on and we'll click on the support line span tool up here in the tendon tab. Once selected, a dialog will open and we need to select a span to take a look at. In this case, I'll box this span and you'll see that the program quickly adds three blue section cuts for the critical locations within this span. C being right at the face of the wall up there, B being mid-span where we have our maximum bottom stress, and A where we have our third critical section for top stresses. In the dialog, we can see where we currently stand as far as top, bottom, pre-compression, and load balancing. The program is also provided a estimated number of tendon changes in order to satisfy our top stresses pre-compression and dead load balancing. The red line shows where we currently are at and the green dashed line is where we would occur roughly with the proposed tendon changes. If I want to dive deeper into each of these section cuts I can jump into the stress detail tab and take a look at all of my different section cuts A, B, and C and see the top stresses, pre-compression, bottom stresses, and then the proposed design as well. Let's go ahead and apply these tendon changes. I'm gonna up this by one tendon just so that I have an even number of tendons to distribute. And we'll go ahead and select apply to model. Here I can pick and choose which tendons I want to apply this change to. If I didn't want to apply the changes to all tendons, I could deselect them or reselect the ones that do apply. In this case, I'm gonna make the changes to all tendons. I can see I need to add a total of 12 strands and there's gonna be a change per tendon of two additional strands. So I'll click apply and you'll see our tendon colors change. And then at the bottom of our strip optimizer here, there is a pending warning. And that's because our solution is not up to date. So let's go ahead and click update the service solution. I can go ahead and pick and choose any of the service combinations that I want to update my solution for now that these tendon changes have taken place. I'll go ahead and include all, click OK, and the program will start going through the analysis and design for the updated tendon changes that have occurred. Once the design is complete, we can go ahead and click OK. Our strip optimizer is up to date for stresses pre-compression and load balancing. I'll go ahead and close this. Everything says okay here. And you can see in our results viewer for our model now, our top stresses are being satisfied, our bottom stresses, as well as our pre-compression. The support line span optimizer is an essential tool to quickly determine efficient post-tension slab designs. For more information on tendon modeling and design tools, please visit our website, risa.com.